And we're recording there. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, Kat here from Standing Stone Kennels. And I'm Ethan. And today the puppies of the Breezy Walker litter are six weeks old. So that means they've been weighed already, but we have to worm them as well as vaccinate them with a five-way vaccination and microchip them. And we'll probably check their nails to see if they need to be trimmed as well. Um, but... Let's get started. Okay, I'll go grab the first puppy. These vaccines come as a two-part process. So you have to pull the liquid from one and then gently swirl to mix them together so that you don't beat up the proteins in the vaccine. I was explained this in the last video that we did. We're gonna make a little pocket. I'm gonna do all of the puppies the same. So we're gonna, so that we're doing a little dance over here. Do it on the dance. Oh, I'll turn puppy around so you can see. Will this work? Whatever. <laughs> turn so that the camera can see. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not gonna shoot down the middle because we're back. We're doing microchips. Microchips I... today. What are we talking about? Turn. <laughs> I'm the worst puppy assistant ever. Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> All right, so this case, right shoulder, every single puppy will get them over their right shoulder. We're gonna make a little pocket. Hold still, puppy. Stick the needle in there, checking for back pressure, and then give the vaccine. Good job, Hale. So checking for back pressure. When it's in that pocket, we pull back a little bit, and as long as this has pressure on it, it doesn't pull or pull blood into the syringe. We know we're not in a vein or an artery or one of those um, and then push the, the vaccine in there. And then all of these needles go in a sharps container to be disposed of properly. Now, these are our microchips. We go through home again. Each one of these comes with a microchip inserter, which is basically a needle big enough to hold the microchip in center of it. And then also we get a card for identification purposes, a sticker and a little tag that can go on their collar. If Don't you put so that on choose. there because I've got to write his name on there first. Oh, okay, good job. It's not his first rodeo. So we're gonna check the microchip in here. And it says, oh, five, four, three. Whoop. So now you can steal this puppy's identity. But you don't want to do back pressure when you do the microchips. Nope, no back pressure. We're going to go, I've got stuff out of my mouth so you can hear me. Both shoulder blades right here. We're going to kind of pinch between. We're going to make the same pocket of skin so that we can keep that microchip centered up high Sometimes they tend to migrate a little bit, but we're gonna keep that microchip up high. We pick up, there you go. Yeah. Down a little, halfway in between. Oh. There we go. So centered, we're gonna go in, shoot the microchip in there, and then pull out. We have a little yellow indicator that says there's no longer a microchip in there. Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna do last is scan the puppy. And it says it's in there. So. That's what we're gonna end up doing with each individual pup. Okay, now it's time for his warmer. Do you wanna hold him? And I'll put his microchip sticker on my sheet. So I'm also going to keep track of which puppy is which for the microchips, cause that's important. You said one mil for everybody based off weights. Yep. This is the same warmer that they already, oh, I was in the bubbles. Okay, so this is the same warmer that they got before. It tastes pretty good. Just talk to your vet 
about getting warmer for your whole litter. That would be my recommendation. And they got warmed at four weeks and now they're getting warmed at six weeks. Good. Do we need anything else? Nope. Perfect. Last but not least, Twister got the whole gamut of things from micro trip to vaccine to her warmer. Um, she's gonna go back out with the rest of her litter mates to play around for a little bit longer. And then we've started crate training. So they'll get an opportunity to run around in the backyard. We're gonna wanna see some peeing and pooping done. And then they're gonna go back in their crate for an afternoon nap. Thank you guys for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss their last few pup dates. I'm Kat the Dog Trainer. I'm the guy with the pink gun. Thanks for watching.